Hello students. This is a lecture on the angle between the vectors. Now if we have two vectors, say u and b. If we use the law of addition of vectors, now this vector should be u minus v. So that when we add these two vectors, we get this vector u. Now, suppose theta is the angle between the two vectors. Now, by law of cosines, if we have a triangle, A, B, C, and we have angle theta, law of cosines states that c squared equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 ab cos theta now if you apply that concept here <coughs> the norm of each of the vectors give us the length of each of the vectors so we have norm of u minus v squared equal to norm of u squared plus norm of v squared minus two times norm of u norm of v into cos theta so we simplify this and write 2 times norm u norm v cos theta equal to norm u squared plus norm v squared minus norm of u minus v squared now norm of u minus v squared this is inner product of u minus v comma u minus v so this will be norm of u comma u minus v minus inner product of v comma u minus v which further simplifies to norm inner product of u u minus inner product of u v minus inner product of v u minus inner product of so minus into mine if i take like this we get minus inner product of v v that is norm u squared minus two times inner product of u v plus norm v squared so if we substitute if i call this as equation one this as equation one and this as equation two we substitute two in one which gives two times norm u norm v cos theta equal to norm u squared plus norm v squared minus norm u squared plus norm v squared minus two times inner product of u v so rearranging we get cos theta the angle between the two vectors to be 
inner product of u v divided by norm u norm v so this would give us the angle between two vectors as an example let us consider 1 3 minus 5 4 and 2 minus 3 4 1 in R4 so we find angle between these two vectors now the formula is cos theta equal to inner product of u v by norm u norm v so we get inner product of u v to be 1 into 2 plus 3 into minus 3 plus minus 5 into 4 plus 4 into 1 which simplifies to now inner product norm of u is square root of the inner product now inner product of u with itself is 1 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 5 squared plus 4 squared which is 25 plus 8 33 plus 10 43 similarly inner product of v with itself will be 2 squared plus minus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 1 squared which is 9 10 26 and 4 30 so cos theta is equal to substituting in the formula we get minus 23 divided by 43 into 30 that is minus 23 divided by so which gives us the angle between the two vectors the vectors being quadruples in R4 now in the second example let us consider a m cross n matrix so vector space of matrices of order m cross n so in this inner product of a b is defined as trace of b transpose a for example if we consider a equal to a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 b equal to b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 in vector space of matrices of size 2 comma 3 now if you apply this definition now b transpose a 
this will be b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 uh, this we can write it as b4 b5 and b6 Now since we require the trace of the matrix, we will only fill the corresponding entries. So this will be B1 A1 plus B4 A4. Now we are not interested in the remaining entries as we are we want the inner product which is trace of B transpose A. So we are interested only in the principal diagonal elements of this product. So the remaining elements we will just write it as star. Now this entry will be the product of the second row of B transpose and the second column of B. This will be B2 A2 plus b5 a5 and the last column entry would be b3 a3 plus b6 a6 so we require inner product of ab which is transpose of b trace of b transpose a we have found the principal diagonal elements of B transpose A. So adding them up, we get A1 B1 plus A4 B4. That is adding the principal diagonal elements of B transpose A. A2 B2 plus A5 B5 plus a3 b3 plus a6 b6 now if we rearrange them in a sequence Now if you recollect what is A, A is A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, B is B is B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6. Now if you look at elements of A, and B and what is the inner product of AB we can observe that inner product of matrices that is trace of B transpose A this is sum of product of corresponding elements Let us consider this example matrix A and matrix B in vector space of matrices 2 comma 3 with the defined inner product that is the inner product of AB is tra uh, trace of B transpose A. The question is to find the angle between the vectors A and B. To begin with the angle cost between the vectors is cos theta is inner product of AB over 
norm of a norm of b now inner product of ab is trace of b transpose a which we have just proved that to be sum of product of corresponding elements so this will be 9 into 1 plus 8 into 2 plus 7 into 7 into 3 plus 6 into 4 plus 5 into 5 plus 4 into 6 so it simplifies to so this simplifies to 119 now we require norm of a and b which is square norm of a square root of inner product of a with itself so inner product of a with itself is trace of a transpose a so using the alternate definition for the inner product of matrices we have So inner product of A with itself will be sum of square of corresponding elements. So nine squared plus eight squared plus seven squared plus six squared plus five squared plus five four squared. This simplifies to two seventy one. Now similarly. so this implies inner product of a this is root inner product of a with itself so this will be root 271 now similarly inner product of b with itself will be 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared Plus five squared, plus six squared, and this simplifies to ninety-one. Therefore, norm B equal to square root of inner product of B with itself, which is root ninety-one. Now, angle between A and B is given by cos theta equal to inner product of AB over norm A norm B, which is we had found inner product of AB as one one nine. Norm A is root two seventy one. And norm B is root ninety one. In a similar manner, in this example, we consider the polynomial vector space with the inner product defined as integral zero to one f of t g of t. Now, using the same formula for angle between the vectors, we write cos theta to be Inner product of f and g over norm f 
norm G. Now inner product of F G is integral 0 to 1 t plus 2 3t minus 2 dt this simplifies to integral 0 to 1 3t squared 4t minus 4 dt integrating this we get t cube plus 2t squared minus 4t from 0 to 1 so the inner product will be 1 plus 2 minus 4 which is minus 1 now norm of f is in a pro square root of inner product of vector with itself so inner product of f with itself is integral 0 to 1 t plus 2 into t plus 2 dt so we have integral 0 to 1 t plus 2 whole square dt that is t plus 2 whole cube by 3 from 0 to 1 so we get 1 by 3 into 3 cube minus 2 cube that is 19 by 3 so norm of f will be square root of inner product of f with f that is square root of 19 by 3 Similarly, we can find inner product of g with itself which is integral 0 to 1 3t minus 2 whole square dt. So this will be three t minus two whole cube by three into 1 by 3 so this is a so integral ax plus b whole power n will be ax plus b power n divided by n into 1 by a so this will be from the limits t equal to 0 to 1 so 1 by 9 into when t equal to 1 we get 1 cube minus when t is equal to 0 we get minus 2 cube which will be 7 by 9 so cos theta is equal to minus we had in a product of fg as minus 1 so we have minus 1 divided by norm of f which is root 19 by 3 here norm g will be root 7 by 9 so this will be root 7 by 9 which is minus root 3 into 3 divided by root 19 root 7 now since we are able to find the angle between the two vectors we say that the vectors are orthogonal to each other if the angle between them is pi by 2 and the angle between the two vectors can be pi by 2 only if the numerator of the form this formula is 0 therefore we have orthogonal vectors when the inner product of the vectors is equal to 0 that we will be seeing in the next video